Well, good morning. So, what's happening here today? This actually happened last month. We're, uh, we have about 14,000 of these poles that we pulled from our vineyard. And I've been denailing them. Well, when I say I've been denailing them, I denail about a couple of hundred. Um, I was trying to work out how long it would take me. Um, and it was taking about. 45 seconds to a minute to fully denail them. So these posts came from a um, our vineyard, one of the vineyards that we we ripped out all the grapes. Uh, the prices for grapes have uh, plummeted significantly for what we were growing, so we decided just to pull out of it. Um, so we've got about 14,000 of these posts now. There's another guy. He spent all week just cutting them down to size, so they were. I want to say 12 feet, and then they've been cut down to about 7 feet. 7 feet, yeah, about 7 or 6.5 feet, down from 8 to 9 feet. So, just grinding through these, and this takes a while. So the plan is we're going to denail some of these, and then we're going to take them up. And in a previous video I showed a bulldozer dozing out a fence line. Well, we're going to lay these out so that the contractor can come in and thump these in and lay. I think it's going to be like a five or a six wire fence. Um, so that's what's going to happen there.
So I've done a few more posts. I thought I'd try a few different tools, see which one will be quickest. Um, there's sort of no right or wrong answer. Crowbars seem to work pretty good. Um, you have to pick up the nails. So stop what we're doing here is... Uh... <laughs> Pulling all the nails out of these this posts that came from cut down the, size the vineyard that we used to have. There's thousands of these things. So we've cut the ends. They're supposed to be good for 50 years, so they should have at least oh, 10 years in the ground, most of these. Which is probably all we need. They don't need to be replaced anyway later on. We've got a horsey over there. A bit of a munch on the grass. And yeah, that's what I'm working on today. So trying to get the tractor to turn around. Uh, Jules really helped because it's quite steep. It's uh, hard to convey how steep things are on the camera. So just a limited amount of area to turn around. So the reason we had to go this way is because the track we're on, which the fence line runs along, uh, it's too wet. The track that was um, sinking, there was no way he was going to be able to make the climb. Uh, even with the four-wheel drive assist, he is just digging a hole. Because uh, the, the ground's still quite loose. It has been quite fully compacted. Here. So he's just found a way to go around. <laughs>